Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I take my cornrows out and also how I do my wash day routine. My cornrows are very crusty. They've been in for like two weeks, but I'm finally taking them out because they're a little bit itchy and I don't understand why. I really need to find a different way to moisturize my hair because this makes no sense. But I figured I would just turn on the camera to show you guys a realistic video of how I like how this goes. Um, tell me if you guys like this type of videos too. I like doing my professional type of setup videos, but I feel like this is more of a vlog style video, even though I'm not speaking. Um, I'm dying laughing at my mom because she's so hilarious, but that's all I'm doing right here. It's really simple. I do not wet my hair or anything to take my cornrows out. I just leave it plain and dry, but I am going to link my video up above how I do these cornrows so you can see how I braid them down and everything. Because I do not braid my ends out because I noticed when I would braid my ends out, um, it would break when I'm trying to take it out. So I twist the ends of my hair now so this makes it super, super easy to remove. And you can see Jacob is being hilarious, okay? If you guys have been following me for a while, you would know um, I always post the videos of him when he was smaller. I will post videos with him in the videos. But yeah, he's over here trying to mock me and I don't understand why. He's so silly. I don't know why I'm dying laughing right now. But that's all I'm doing right here. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. Um, I do want to do videos of my fall slash winter clothing. But guys, I've really been going through it. I know this has nothing to do with this video. But I've been going through it because I ordered clothes online. And it has not been going too well. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I ordered clothes from Zara. And they came and it was too big. And I ordered two times. It was a mess. And then I ordered some clothes from where? House of CB. And it came too small. So I'm, you know, I'm trying to get the video popping. But it's taking a little longer than I wanted to. So please bear with me you guys can see him over here being a mess <laughs> but yeah that's all i'm doing right here i'm gonna just play some music so you guys can watch me finish up taking these braids out and i'll be right back when i have more commentary so you guys can see exactly what i use to wash my hair and keep it nice and clean and moisturized Alright you guys, so I'm down to the last braid and you know when you get to the last braid you're super excited. So this is me right now being super excited down to the last braid. It took me a total of like 20 minutes, 25 minutes to take all the cornrows out. It was really fast to me because I was moving really slow. I just sped the video up so you guys didn't have to sit through all that time of me taking these cornrows out. But this is how my hair looked when I was done. I do have a video on how I trim my hair, so I'm gonna have it linked up in the eye right now. I also do have a video of how I braid the hair, so it's also gonna be up in the eye if you wanna check that out. This is how my hair is looking, and I'm all finished. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair now. I'm just giving you guys a little view of how it looks when it's in a braid out. Now I'm gonna go in with this conditioner and shampoo. I got this from Walmart. It was about $5. This is the Maui Moisture Coconut Oil. I love the coconut oil one because it's really moisturizing. I also use this Melly Deep Conditioner. Bomb. I recommend that deep conditioner 100%. You guys need to try it out. You could get it at Walmart. Question number two. What is my favorite color? You should get this. You guys should get this, okay? So this is how my hair looks. I just took it out of that ponytail thing and it's super super dry so what i did do is go in and wet it just to make sure that it's more um, manageable i am going to section my hair off into four sections one thing about me i'm washing my hair in the kitchen sink right now and we're not cooking or anything so don't think like oh it's dirty ah uh, like no calm down i would normally wash my hair in the bathroom but i felt like the countertop had a better view of how i you know how how everything is going whatever so i section my hair off into four sections normally in the shower i would do the same exact routine and i feel like this helps me make sure that all my scalp is clean and i could get to everything so i recommend this to every single person every single time if you feel like your wash day routine is going by too slowly i feel like this would speed it up a lot because you get to move through the sections quicker that's all i'm doing right here i'm going in with the the shampoo first and i'm going to shampoo my 
roots and while i'm shampooing my roots i try not to get it too much on the ends because the ends the shampoo is going to wash off the hair and fall onto the ends anyways so i kind of wash it like this and i smooth it down the length of my hair to make sure that the length is getting washed but not really the ends because the ends is really dry on my hair so i don't like the ends being too um squeaky clean at the ends because i don't know it's just no so that's all I'm doing right here. I'm just going in and I'm massaging the roots of my hair to make sure that it's super clean. And yeah, I'm going to play some music because this is very repetitive for this part. And you guys can watch me. So this section right here is my second shampoo session because I have to shampoo my hair twice just to make sure that it's squeaky clean and it's not itchy. I have to do this. So if you feel like after you wash your hair it still feels kind of itchy, I recommend doing the, the shampooing two times and that will help you out a lot. Even if you don't want to go in with shampoo two times, you could shampoo once and then do a conditioner um, co-wash. Uh, I used to co-wash a lot and I mean I don't find anything wrong with co-washing I just felt like my hair needed to be scrubbed so that's why I was using the shampoo so after I rinse the shampoo out this is how the hair looks and I am gonna go in with my deep conditioner now I like doing my deep conditioner on squeaky clean hair because I don't know it just makes my hair softer and when I rinse it out it just I just like this okay i just like this if you want to you could always go in first with the deep conditioner and then wash it with the shampoo but this is what i like doing so i'm just sectioning it section in it off again and i'm going to apply my deep conditioner which is from melly melly deep conditioner you can find all the stuff that i'm using from walmart you can find it at cvs any like drugstore type of place but i do recommend walmart because walmart always has the deals so this is what i'm doing right here i'm just going in and i'm using i actually just opened it and i'm using some in my hand i do use a generous amount and it's a little bit pricey it's about 12 dollars um yeah so this is all i'm doing right here i'm gonna play some music so you guys can watch me Put this in my hair and i'll be right back Also wanted to let you guys know a little tip what i do is i um apply the deep conditioner to my hair in sections as well so in the same four sections i will go in and apply the deep conditioner and i twist it up just like this in two strand twist all over the sections i do it for each side and i try not to detangle the hair so much i just kind of place the deep conditioner and open the hair and i twist it up just like how i showed you before and i put my hair under this plastic cap i leave it on for 15 minutes just to do its thing when i take it off it's super super soft so this is after 15 minutes and i do go in with my demon brush i love using my demon brush and for a tip when using your demon brush when you have it upright like how i have it like this brushing your hair upright that's how you detangle your hair when you do it sideways that's how you define your curls so i noticed that a lot like if i try detangle detangling my hair with the demon brush and brushing my hair sideways like that that is um pulling my hair out and it's more for defining the curls after you detangle so i just felt like anybody would want to know that if you have a demon brush and you're wondering why it's pulling your hair out it's probably because you're holding it the wrong way and after i detangle it i just go in and i twist it back up just like how it was already before and i do that to every section just so it could keep me organized and make this process go by smoother this whole wash routine took me 35 minutes to complete minus the 15 minutes i had to sit with the plastic cap but detangling and all of that took me a good 30 35 minutes and that's really good because before like if i would have all my hair out it would take me like an hour and a half two hours just to go in and detangle and make sure all the sections are washed cleaned and everything so i recommend this method completely to everybody with natural hair i recommend this method 
and also get you a Demon brush because Demon brush saved my life like I used to always use, um finger detangle but I felt after I learned how to properly properly use the Demon brush it has changed my life i'm also going to show you guys some of the shedding i got from using the demon brush and the shed the shedding was reasonable because i did not wash my hair maybe three weeks before i took these out so i had those braids in for three weeks so this shedding for three weeks is perfect i remember before when i would detangle my hair and stuff it would be so much clumps of hair and now it's like minimal but i'm trying to get it down to a smaller ball this is how much shedding i have right now i'm trying to get it down to a smaller ball so now that i'm finished and i rinse my hair out i don't rinse my hair out with cold water or anything just so you guys know i know most people are going crazy using cold water and stuff but i feel like since it's already cold outside i do not want to get sick so i don't do that especially in the winter time i do not rinse my head with cold water i don't see no difference because my hair doesn't get frizzy or anything like that anyways i mean it's natural hair so yeah so that's all i'm doing right here i'm gonna go ahead and do my blow dryer routine you can see he has the blow dryer i do section off my hair and the heat protectant that i use is my beyond the zone heat protectant i always use this heat protectant if you watch my natural hair videos you would know this um yeah so i'm using my demon brush one last time and you can see how smoothly it is brushing through and i'm going to tension dry my hair if you want a detailed tutorial on everything that i use tools and all of that i'm gonna have it linked up in the eye above right now so you guys can check it out uh yeah so this is basically the end of the video thank you guys so much for staying tuned please do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content from me please don't forget to comment and subscribe <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for sticking by and visiting my channel. I really appreciate it so, so much. I will definitely see you in my next one. Don't forget to comment down below an emoji of your choice so I can know that you got to the end of the video. Bye!